Welcome, Gemini's. I'm back, y'all. Again, with another one. With another one. Yes, yes, yes. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. This is going to be what you need to know. Okay? What you need to know. What's coming towards you. What you need to know. What you might don't know. What you might want to know. Okay? Whew, let's see. This is a general read for my Gemini's. So if it resonates with you, it was for you. This is my gift to you. <laughs> and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. We would most definitely love to have you here. All right, for sure, for sure. Um, as well, guys, I did start a series on, it's called What's the Tea? All right, we do get a real deal, get into some things on that series. And I normally do it, you know, after five. That's when everybody's, you know, kind of getting home from work and, you know, kind of like chilling out. And, you know, you can get your wine glasses and, you know, you can, your men can get your cigars and your beer or whatever and just come chill with me, okay? Um, oh, yeah, guys, I want to let you guys know as well, if you want to book a personal, that information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, I am having a blowout sale on my website tomorrow for 24 hours starting tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am going to have a blowout sale for 24 hours straight, guys. You can get the oils um, for a very discounted rate, okay? I'm going to do it for 24 hours. I'm showing y'all as much love as I can, guys, because y'all have been supporting and rocking with me this whole journey okay i've been on youtube for about two years and you guys have been rocking out with me okay so 15 percent off i think that's going to be the sale that i'm going to do tomorrow um you will see all the details on the site and i'll be posting in the community tab okay so you want to subscribe so you can get the notifications okay all right so let's talk gemini's let's see what we got what's coming towards you what you need to know what do you need to know, okay? What do you need to know? What does Gemini's need to know? What does Gemini's need to know? Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. The Devil. The World. And the Lovers, which is you guys' energy. Uh, the Four of Cups. Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, the Death card, Moon, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Right off the bat, guys, I could definitely see the okay at the bottom of the deck okay we got the five of cups and the six of swords are y'all feeling bad that y'all have to leave somebody or something behind i feel like it's someone i feel like it's you guys have to leave somebody behind you guys gotta leave something or somebody behind you you had to move on you have to let it go because i got the world card here okay so you've closed the chapter and i i don't feel like you're too happy about it you're not that happy about it because I got you over here soaking, okay, with the Four of Cups and the past energy. But something here was extremely toxic, all right? The energy was toxic. The energy was toxic, okay? But I feel like you really love this person. You genuinely love this person. You really do care. But I feel like a lot of y'all had to do what was best for y'all. How they're viewing it, they got the death card, okay? So they they feel they feel this ending. They may feel like they need to make transform and make some changes as well, too. Now I got Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, definitely Pisces or Cancer. But you know, I'm I'm got quite a few different energies here. But let's just read it as as the energy, okay? So 
I've, I got you guys having to close the chapter here with the world. Yeah, nine of wands. I don't feel like, I feel like you feel, I'm, I'm getting like you guys have to brace yourself. You have to brace yourself. Yeah, I'm getting like calm down. For some of you, I am getting like domestic, domestic stuff here, you know. Why is the Ten of Cups here? But look, okay, I feel like you did what's best for you. Because I got you guys being happy. Even though some of you may feel, you know, like you're doing things on your own. Or you had to be single. You had to get away and do something for you, okay. You had to get your self-worth, your self-value, okay, together. Because I feel like the situation that you were in was extremely toxic. Yeah. You could have been dealing with the Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I'm getting like there, it was an extreme toxic energy. Okay. Um, and I feel like you also wanted to, you know, save your money. Do something for you. And like I said, I do feel like you you actually love this person. I do feel like you you wanted this relationship. You wanted a commitment from this person. You wanted a higher level of commitment. Um, but some of y'all had to walk away. You walked away and you walked away bruised, hurt, sad. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I really feel like lots of four of cups here. Yeah, you got you got tired. You got tired of talking, you got tired of explaining, you got tired of all that. Tired of all the back and forth. So you had to let it go. Okay, you had to let it go. Now with the Seven of Cups moving ahead. I got a bunch of cards that wanted to jump out. Some of y'all are wondering if this person feels the same way, if they're feeling hurt, if they're feeling the pain, if they're feeling sad of you having to leave and walk away. Because you really, I, I really feel like you, 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 this connection was, you know, what meant something to you. It was valuable. And I feel like you're spying on this person as well. Now with the emperor, this, you know, there could have been ego issues. Could have been dealing with an Aries. This is the father card as well. Yeah, somebody's too controlling. Some This person is too controlling. They're too controlling. They try to keep you away from your friends. Like, they're just too controlling. Why is the death card here? Okay, we got the death and the ten of pentacles. Okay, we got the Death and the Ten of Pentacles here. So there, we do see the relationship in it. So they're viewing it, you know, as the relationship ended. And they're, they're looking back at the situation with regrets as well, too. But they also know that they need to give this situation some time and some space. Um, because there's lots of disagreements, lots of arguments, lots of fighting. Okay, and, and, and I feel like they're thinking about, you know, the past. And they feel like you're going to bring up the past, okay? So they're trying to give you space and time to kind of like get over it. But I feel like later they're going to try to make an effort to come back together, put the family back together, um, or come to you with some type of, of commitment, okay? But I, I feel like it's going to be later. Um, the moon card, you may fear that there's someone else in the picture that they've been hiding. Why is the queen of wands here? Queen of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But you feel like there's something that's hidden. Children could be involved in this, okay? Children could be involved. Okay, and I got the Five of Pentacles. Like, you just feel, I feel like you feel kind of sad. And I, I want to say that. I feel like you feel sad um, just for right now. Just for right now when you think about this situation. It's just when I feel like you may feel that way because sometimes you feel alone or you feel rejected. But I feel like that's the only, like, you, you snap back into reality. Like, you know, okay, you know, it is what it is. You know, I messed up. You're looking at the truth of, this, of the matter of the situation. But I feel like 
I feel like overall, you wanted a relationship that was toxic. And I, and the thing about it is, is let's be real, let's be honest. If if the situation, yeah, see the truth is you have you had to move on. Yeah, and it, it ended. Okay, you had to move on. It was it was the best thing. Let me tell you, this is the best thing for you. Okay, we got the Empress and the Six of Wands. You're going to be more successful if you give each other space. Okay, and I feel like there, um, there's just like uncertainty. You you don't really want to communicate with this person, or you are answering their calls or something to that nature. But I feel like. Some of y'all are just, you know, having a hard time letting this go. I feel like you're happy that you that you were strong enough to move on from a situation that no longer served you. But at the end of the day, it still hurts. It still stings. It stings. And you just got to find other things to replace that, you know, that, that void. You got to find something to replace that void. Okay. Now, if it comes back around later, then, you know. We'll talk about that then. But right now, I feel like you guys got to let something go, okay? Got to let something go so you can move forward. And I do feel like you guys um, have gotten yourselves out of a, a trying situation, okay? And I applaud y'all so much for that. That takes a lot of strength and courage to do. And I applaud y'all for that, for sure, for sure. But like I said, we got to find, you know things to fill that void okay so it won't it won't stink so much okay all right i will chat with you guys later all right y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below don't forget to hit that like button and share with your family and friends check out the website guys it's a lot of goodies over there and don't forget if you want to book a personal reading that information is in the drop box below as well i'm gonna chat with y'all later ciao